The biggest problem men have been running into with learning game is this belief that you just need to learn just enough to get the girl. And let me say that again, it's the belief that you need to learn just enough to get the girl. I've done this myself, I've read about other people doing it, I've seen other people doing it. And just to kind of put a definition on what is game, I'm basically talking about a set of behavior traits that you act out don't necessarily embody as a person, but you act out in the moment to get with a girl. Perhaps it's even a script or a line that you use, things you say so that you can appear in a certain light to the woman that you're trying to get with. I am speaking specifically about male to woman relationships, though you definitely could do the same thing in all types of relationships. Even in a friend's relationship, I say you could still do some of these things. Though what I'm talking about specifically here, the real problem I'm trying to get at, is that since it's a set of behavioral traits, maybe a script that they enact so that they can get the girl, a girl who they previously believed, at least, maybe she doesn't have to actually be, maybe they previously believed she was out of their league, maybe she actually was out of their league, is that they have this wrong belief that once they get the girl, you don't have to do anything and it's over. And it just, it does not work like that. And this is the number one problem that a lot of men run into when they're learning game. Is they'll learn a couple things to say, certain ways to act. The most like classic one is to try to seem like you're cocky and you're funny. Try to, you know, seem like you have confidence and you're not afraid to uh, offend somebody. You know, show that you're a male of value using some sort of behavior trait. Though what happens is once they actually get the girl, they think that's it. They think they don't have to do anything else. They think their life is over, you know, they can wait a couple months or a year, just ask the girl to marry her, marry them, and once they hook the girl, they don't have to continually work on themselves, perhaps continually improve their game, actually embody some of the characteristics they're they're actually exhibiting, you know, you try to really like put a frame on this is let's say you your game is just teaching you to embody not to embody it's teaching you how to show characteristics that show you have confidence and this confidence helps you show that you're a man of value and then you use this and you go get yourself a girl or many girls though what happens what, what what's going to happen once you get yourself in a serious relationship with this girl. This is something that really a lot of men don't, maybe never take into real consideration, is that the reason she was attracted to you is because you were acting a certain way. And on top of that, she doesn't necessarily just believe you were acting a certain way, she actually believes you are a certain way. She entered this relationship with the understanding that you are a male of value. You are an actual confident, perhaps alpha male who has a life that she may want to be a part of for one reason or another. Whether it's that what you are presenting is you're financially well off. It's a very iffy way to go about it, but just as an example. Or are you presenting that you're just a male who has a lot of fun going on in his life and he's always at a lot of parties with a lot of friends and that's something she wants to be a part of. What is it that you're actually displaying to her and what is it she actually wants to be a part of? And then if she comes back to, you know, as an example, if you, you know, pull up in a really, really nice car, this is a really just easy way to example it. If you pull up in a really, really nice car and then you take her back to a really, really crappy apartment, you're setting two different like standards here and it's like who's the real you who is she really attracted to you know are you really living up to expectations that you set for yourself and this isn't to um discourage men and that's just an example because you, again you can just pretend that you're just some kind of like cool party alpha male and then when she gets with you you don't have a lot of friends, you don't actually go to a lot of parties, you don't even like to drink, and she may really have just liked to drink a lot. So it was like, what, are, what, are, what is the message you're sending? And it's not to discourage men from learning game whatsoever. It's to help men really take it to the next level, and I really mean that, take it to the next level, and realize why are the things you're doing working? Why are the things you're doing 
why are the things you've seen other people doing that are working, why do they work? And again, to take it to the next level, how do you actually become that person? How do you actually fully embrace these ideas? How do you actually live your life like this? How do you actually really become that actual guy? And that really kind of goes onto my next point for this video with the biggest problems that come with learning game is that there's this belief no actually it's not a belief I, I'm gonna put it differently games should come with a warning yeah I'm gonna put it like that it should come even uh, learning self-improvement I would say should come with a warning to a certain extent perhaps if you you know you learn how to meditate and you know that's what you're doing Maybe you don't necessarily need a, the same exact warning. I'd give you a completely different warning about about meditation. I'd probably say something like along the lines of, you know, just because you're meditating, don't forget to also go read self-improvement books and keep working on yourself. I mean, it sounds a little similar, but what I'm really trying to get at is basically, try to stop rambling here. Once you take the red pill, just as a put a label on it, you can't spit it back up and then go take the blue pill again. You can't just go back in time and go back to being yourself. It doesn't it doesn't work that way. And the real problem with not being able to go back is because if you were to do something like I'll show you guys right now, perhaps read a book like this. How's the zoom on that? Yeah, that looks good. The Rational Male. This book, if you really want to get some insight on this, this is my entire last video was about this. It really has a lot of insight on male to female intergender, interrelationship dynamics, right? So you take this book. If you read the entire book, about 286 pages. Granted, you know, some of them are blank. A few of them, I mean, this one's, you know, not a full page about 286 pages. You take that book, you read it, and then you put it down, and you go living on the rest of your life as if, you know, it was just a piece of entertainment. You know, you just read the Titanic, you know, like, oh, this is a nice story, and then you want to move on with your life. It doesn't work that way when when you uh, have real, red pill information to sort of say. Now, when you go on through, throughout your life, you're going to see our scene, you know, in the moment, you may not see this. But when you're around other people, when you're around especially other women, and again, yeah, even just other men, you're going to start seeing a lot of the things he talks about in this book come into real life, coming to realization, actually taking place. You're going to be more consciously aware of it. And no matter how hard you try, you already know this information. Whether it's consciously or subconsciously, you already know the information and you can't take away from that. So to kind of wrap up that last point, because I'm kind of working on trying to get these videos better organized for you guys. I do I do feel like I need more practice to stop making it sound a little bit more rambling. Definitely want to, I gotta, probably think is I gotta focus on making the video less about, you know, my own personal biases that come into play in my head and mental chatter try to wrap up that last point because i feel like it was a little rambly is once you take it you can't go back and what i really mean about this is i don't necessarily i don't even just mean that i mean coming back to the first point once you get in a relationship with a woman act in a certain way you don't just go back not only do you need to keep exhibiting those behavioral traits that got the woman in the first place so that you can make sure you keep her around, you can make sure she, you, and you know, granted too, you gotta realize too, is you may actually match to keep her around for several years, though she may leave you when you least freaking expect it to for some other guy just because he's not sacrificing who he is to be with her. You gotta understand that she loves you for the way you got into the relationship. He doesn't necessarily love you for the man you turn into after you're in the relationship. Unless, as I was trying to say, you, you gotta keep going. It's not even just, oh, I learned these game tricks and now I'm just gonna keep doing this. It's not even just that. Is you gotta keep learning more game. You gotta keep finding 
more mentors. It's not necessarily, once you get started in this path, it's not necessarily in kind of a negative sense, gonna just get easier. It gets easier in the sense that now your actual work produces results. And that's probably the most important thing to consciously make sure that the work you're doing, and especially in learning game, is actually producing results. That's something you have to be very consciously aware of. You're making sure that, you know, your woman is that you're still attracting other women. The woman you're with is still attracted to you. She still acted in ways that you would like her to act. Put in aside that if you decide to marry her or move in with her, that's definitely going to give her more of a level of comfort. And for that, I would definitely recommend checking out my last video on taking your power back in a relationship. Basically talking about, for one thing, it's very easy for her to be less intimate with you. So if you pull back a little bit and you try to just accept the fact that she's not going to be intimate with you for a good week or so, then it's going to start flipping the script on her. You're going to take away what she's using for her to, against you for power and she may actually start to want to be more intimate with you because now she becomes afraid of losing you. You flip the script. So yeah, getting back onto my actual point for this video is once you start learning game, you have to keep learning game. And that's how you're going to keep the woman around. It's not just how you're going to get woman. It's how you're going to attract higher quality levels of woman, how you're going to attract more women into your life, and how you're going to keep the woman in your life. And on my original point is having to embody these beliefs. Well, if you've, you know, if you're in your 20s, right you've had bad beliefs for 20 years maybe 15 give or take you know maybe the first few years you didn't really have much beliefs about stuff and you were still learning things just say let's say 15 20 years you had a bad beliefs in your life well just because you spent a couple of months learning new habits new beliefs doesn't mean that you've embodied those doesn't mean you've become a new or different person you might still be acting on it and there's the problem isn't just that isn't isn't that you're acting on it is how long you've been doing it now granted if you decide to spend five years of your life working on this stuff you're gonna by default by default if you were even just as simple as you take just a simple book and you read it over and over and over and over again because it was really that helpful for you Even by default, you're going to learn to become more of that person in that book. Especially not when you're just sitting there, but every time you go out and you become more and more aware of what's actually going on and you start trying to change yourself based on your new belief system, in no time whatsoever, I mean, Maybe not the right way to say it, but if you constantly do it, you will actually fully embody those beliefs. And again, don't don't just think that because you got in a relationship is the real point of the video. It's not just to tell you the biggest problem with learning game, it's telling you exactly how to fix it. Is when you get in the relationship, continue to learn game. Whatever you were doing before, continue doing it. Do even more of it. Find yourself more mentors to follow. And because um, it's such a game oriented video, I will tell you some of my favorite mentors I follow. There's definitely plenty of good mentors. I believe in the rational male, he mentors someone. But plenty of the people I like, I like to follow is RSD, Real Social Dynamics. They've had a lot of their own controversy, though I've gained a lot of great knowledge from them. Todd Valentine, Todd V, X Todd V, he's definitely, I feel like he's just a man when you just gives you like a quick little video that just really hits the point on exactly what you need to know. It doesn't waste any time. This actual book, I mean, I'm just going to put it out because I really like this book. Recommends checking out Nick Crazier. Nick K-R-A-U-S-E-R. -E As someone else to take a look at. Now you don't you don't have to, but if you're really working on it, maybe the guy you're watching runs out of new material for you to learn just because not even that it for the sake he doesn't have it, but like maybe just he hasn't created that material, those videos or that podcast for you to listen to or to watch. So yeah, it definitely helps. It just 
find more mentors, keep learning more, don't ever stop learning game. The, the goal is, um, I got this one from Elliot Hulse, I love. He just, you know, it, granted too, like he doesn't always, you know, not everyone you, you um, listen to even has to be teaching you game. You could be learning spirituality. You just, in a sense, one way or another, you need to, if you want to really get the life you live, if you want to, as because I'm talking about game, actually keep the woman around that you get, you have to embody this inner strong core belief that it's not about you do just enough to get the girl and then you stop. You have to embody this belief that for the rest, perhaps for the rest of your life, or at least at least for five years or so, you're going to make a conscious effort to constantly do everything you can to improve your life. You know, talking about working out, talking about exercising, talking about learning how to diet better, read some sort of educational book that's helping you build better character. It could be like another example could be like Leadership 2.0 or Emotional Intelligence 2.0, I think it's called too, that book. Just something in some sort of way, and especially in terms of dating and game, constantly learn new game tricks to get women just to play with their emotions, change things up. Sometimes they get used to the same old tricks. There's certain things that I think universally hold up throughout a relationship. Like for one, one of my best example for this, is controlling your uh, mood and your inner emotional states. And I like to make almost a joke about it that um, if you're in a better mood, speaking about this, really this one specifically male to woman, but it does work in all relationships, but it's I think it's more most effective in that one. If you're in a good mood as the male, it's a lot harder for her to get into a bad mood because she so feeds, he feeds so much directly off of your emotional state so that if you stay in a good mood, it's harder for her to stay in a, in a good mood. That's one I feel like, you know, really kind of just works throughout the entirety of the relationship. Getting your emotions in check, perhaps even picking up a book on spirituality like Eckhart Tolle, The Power of Now. Just really like learning about meditation, being present to the moment, controlling your mental and emotional states without the use of outside substances. Not that those can't help sometimes too, <laughs> depending on what you're doing. Well, yeah, to uh, kind of wrap this up, because I feel like this is the point where I'm getting really rambly. The number one problem men face with coming into game, learning game, getting better with women, is this belief. I guess it's sort of, it comes from just your, um, the regular, the regular negative beliefs you already had. That you just basically need to get the girl, or boy, whatever your uh, preference is. And once you've gotten that, your life is over, your life is complete, and you don't have to continue doing something else. I mean, women in a sense can do this too. That's kind of, in a sense, that's kind of like when a woman marries a guy and then all of a sudden she doesn't take care of herself anymore and she doesn't even try to make him happy and she doesn't even try to do things for him anymore. In a sense, that's woman's version of it. And it's up to you as a man to decide if you're gonna put up with that or not. Some men just won't put up with it and ironically, because they just won't put up with it, there's a good chance their woman will start acting different. But not because they have this belief in their head that they won't put up with it and, you know, they just re-say that over and over and they tell their woman, I'm not going to put up with this. No, but because they embody different beliefs, they're going to act differently throughout their entire life. They're going to treat her different in all sorts of different scenarios. Like, an example that... um of this is I got a friend who he's very very self oriented very very good at focusing on himself though it's not like in a selfish way it's like he's just very one track minded which can be a very powerful tool to have especially as a male though being very focused could obviously be beneficial for a woman so he's really one track minded and one thing he does is when he's crossing the street he doesn't necessarily wait for his uh, female. If if it's clear of him to go, even if just like he's got to do a quick sprint, he'll go. He'll just go for it, and he won't even. He'll he then. I guess when he gets to the other side, maybe he has to wait for them. I'm not sure exactly what he does then. The point being is that he has this belief embodied in him 
that he's a valuable person, that his time is valuable, that he's not going to sit around and wait for a woman. You know, he has beliefs along those lines. You could you could pick out any belief you want. You can even put suggestions over there, make up your own beliefs of what does that one action say? And that's what I'm talking about, is that he has embodied different core beliefs about himself, about the people he's around, about the woman he's with, that it's not just because he sits there and he says to himself, I mean, granted, maybe if you're really low level, you need some affirmations, you might want to sit there and say to yourself, I'm valuable. I'm awesome. I'm perfect just the way I am. You might want to add some um, affirmations in there, though. Yeah, and embodying in that belief is he just gets up and he goes act on it, and he doesn't have to overtly say to this woman, "I'm better than you." Is he just acting in a way that's showing that he holds himself up to a higher standard? He he's a male who clearly believes that he has value, and he acts this out. So yeah, and trying to summarize my points is that once you get started on this path it doesn't stop it doesn't end if you really you really actually kind of have to unlock your full potential and there's no real choice and at least be progressively moving towards that every day if you got the girl because you were acting a certain way you can't go back to acting the way you were before if before all you did was uh play xbox got my controller right here all you did before is play Xbox, PlayStation, computer, or Nintendo, whatever you want to say there. Sit at home, watch animes. If that's all you did before, and then you took a couple months of your life to learn, whatever you did learn that helped you get this woman, whatever it was, you can't just go back to being what you were before. You have to realize what habits, what habits, what behaviors actually got you that woman. And you have to realize that that's why she was attracted to you because you were acting that certain way. And you need to keep acting that way. You need to keep embodying those beliefs. And you need to keep learning new and more powerful and better beliefs about yourself. You need to keep it always improving so that you can actually keep the girl. You don't revert back to being just who you were before. And you can actually go live even on a... On a more higher level go live the life you deserve you know and not put so much value even on the woman and thinking that just because you got her that now your life is over now your life is complete and she's completing you you're gonna i'm telling you here to complete yourself to empower yourself to do everything you can do to improve yourself and to keep doing that for the rest of your life and as a result of this, you will attract more women into your life, or males, whatever your preference is. Because you could even just be a female. You could be a male looking for males, whatever your preference is. You will attract more into your life. And you will start to have more value. I don't know if I said this or not. You will start, now I'm kind of repeating on myself. You will start to have more value for yourself. You will start to have more self-belief you will start to just actually truly embody these beliefs so that you can keep these women, keep these men in your life, attract more men, attract more men, women into your life if that's what you want, and to honestly just live the best and greatest possible life that you can possibly live. This has been Our World Shifted. If I helped you out in any way, feel free to subscribe. And definitely, whether you subscribe or not, feel free to leave questions and comments below. If I get a good question, I definitely will take it very seriously and try to answer it as well as I can. Even if it's just you want me to elaborate on something here. Because I know in this video, it kind of seems all over the place in a way. And I kind of just trying to like get all these points in there that I can possibly get in there to help you understand these ideas more. And maybe there's something really specifically you'd like me to open up more on <sighs> thank you for watching and um, remember it doesn't stop just because you get what you want and that's in anything in life just because you started a business doesn't mean your life's over if you want that business to stay in business you need to constantly be trying to improve your business 
constantly trying to make more money, constantly trying to save more money, get more money in the bank, anything you possibly can to keep that business growing. If you just sit there and you let your business stagnate, you're going, you're going off of luck to keep that business running. That's really what you're going off of. You're going off of the fact that the economy will never crash, that you're in a safe market that won't crash, that your clients just won't move somewhere else. You're going off of luck versus if you're always getting more customers, getting more clients, improving your products, you're going to keep people around. Start thinking about your life as if you're even the business or if you own a business start thinking about it in the same sense that how you're going to improve your business but yeah think about yourself as a business and think about yourself because you are the greatest investment you will ever make and just give you one last point let's say you do all this and you do still lose the girl you do still lose the boy for something out of your control at the very least you will still be in a position of more power to attract and find someone else better. They're going to be less likely to leave you. You know, if this is taken back in the business sense, your business is going to be less likely to close down. But if it did, you have more knowledge to go find someone else, to go start another business, to go make better investments. One last point to wrap up the video. In the book, Vision Driven Leadership, I'm gonna give you just a quick summary, not gonna drag this out. He gets really, really far in a business that he works for and gets really good of it, ends up leaving the business, starting his own business, and that business does well for a while until it fails and he has to go back to working for the business that he actually worked for before. Though so what's interesting about it is even though his business failed, he took all the lessons he learned from that previous business that he had. And even though he went back to where he was before, not saying that that's always the best scenario, though, even though he went back to where he was before, he managed to become the head of a department. He managed to take that department and really just get the ball rolling with it, really kind of turned the department around and made it really, really like high gross and really just took that, that, that department to the next level and really use what he learned to continue making his life better and just to kind of say that like even if you know you do lose a girl even if you do lose your business because I kind of threw a little business in the end just as another way to look at it if you're still you know doing stuff like this like learning growing you know working out exercising meditating reading watching educational videos listening to educational content you're still you know also like even improving your career improving your business you're still growing like don't let little setbacks define your life you can still use that to just further your growth further your learning and next time you get into another relationship perhaps you'll be able to get into a better one you'll be able to set better boundaries you'll be able to have set better standards attract better partners into your life or if you start another business you can use the lessons you learned from the other business to start your new business or make sure it grows even better and just really kind of wrap up everything that i said in this video is just because your life just because a situation doesn't end up the way you want it to, even if things don't work out, no matter how hard you try, if you're always on this path of self-improvement, it doesn't matter because the next thing you get yourself involved in, next relationship you get yourself involved in, you'll be able to do it from much, much better, much wiser place. And give you like one last tip. The way you enter a relationship, the frame of mind, the way the relationships dynamics are when you're in the beginning stages of the relationship even when you're first meeting her the frame of mind you have the way you view yourself the way you carry yourself the way you take care of yourself is going to define that relationship if every beginning in the relationship you have a low view of yourself and you give her a lot of the power over you over the relationship it's going to be a lot harder later to turn that situation around so that you can have your power back. You can have your, not to say you need to be controlling of the relationship, but you have the control and power in the relationship that you should have. Versus, like I said, if you go into this relationship giving her all the power, then you're going to be in a situation where if you try to turn that around, it's a lot harder. It's a lot easier to go into the relationship with the power. So, yeah, I know this video 
getting a little bit all over the place. Thank you guys for watching. And like I said, please let me know anything you'd like me to add on to with this video. Thank you.